All right, we are in, this is CC3, and this is section 3.1.2, and specifically number 3-14. All right, so we have some equations that we need to build from the equation mats, the tiles that they give us. So let's see what we've got here. So for the, the first one, for A, if I look at what we have, I'm looking at uh, two positive x's and three positive ones. So I'm going to say that's, oops, two, two x plus three is what we have on top. And then remember, it's minus all of the bottom, and the bottom is a positive x and a negative one. So I could say x plus negative one. So that's what I have on one side. And that's all equal to this other side, which is two positive x's, again, and a pos or negative plus a negative two on top, but then minus a negative x. And that's, that's what the equation would look like unsimplified if I wrote it as is from the tiles. In this direction, though, it does say to simplify as much as possible, then solve for x. So what I'm going to do is... I could show the algebra how to simplify, and I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to show the simplifying process using the tiles, right? So if we have, if I look at each side, I can simplify by taking each of these two X's and cross them out because they're the same top and bottom. When you have a plus in the positive region and the negative region, and they're the same, they will cancel each other out. It's X minus X is what that looks like. And then if I take and take this, unshaded tile which is a negative and bring it to the top it would actually shade it and become a positive so now what i have here is really that looks like one uh, x plus four so that's what that that whole side simplifies to be now and and what does that look like algebraically i'm going to show you here so we have two x plus three well minus this quantity x plus negative one. Remember when you subtract a quantity, you're taking that subtraction sign and you're distributing it to each of the terms. And so this becomes minus x plus, and then you have minus a negative. When you have minus a negative, it's a double negative becomes an actual positive one. And then if I continue to simplify this, I have a, I have the two x minus one x, two x minus one x gives me the one x. And then I have a three um, and a positive one. So three plus one is four. So that's, notice how I simplified it with the tiles. Algebraically, it still simplifies to still be X plus four. Now, if I'm gonna simplify this side with the tiles, um, it looks like all I can do is take this negative X and bring it up to the top to make it into a positive X. So really what we, what we have left on top is just becomes a positive 3x and then um, um, plus a negative 2. That's what we have when you simplify. And if I look at what I have here to do the same thing algebraically, I'm looking at all I can, I can see this simplifies here by saying a minus a negative. That becomes plus. So this becomes 2x plus negative 2 plus x. And then I can combine like terms. I have a 2x and a 1x to give me the 3x. And so there's that 3x plus negative 2. So algebraically, that simplifies to be the same. So now, now at this point, we need all of our x's on one side, all the numbers on the other side. I tend to like to keep my x's positive as much as possible. So if I look, I have a 1x over here and a 3x over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to subtract 1x from this side. And that'll give me a positive 2x. And then if I got rid of my numbers... Uh, excuse me, my variable on this side, that means I want just the variable on, on this side, which I have. So I have uh, four equals two X plus negative two. So that's what that simplified to be. So now I want to keep going. I got to get my X alone. So I'm going to add two because that's a negative two. If I have a negative two, I put a positive two next to it in order for it to cancel. And what I do to one side, I do to the other side. So now I have six is equal to two X. All right, and then I got to get my X completely alone. So I'm going to divide out the coefficient. 
right? And that gets my x to equal 3. So there's solving part A. All right, good with that. So then I'll look at B. Let me go back up to B. Same process with B is if I write this equation as is, I have a positive 2x. This is B. Positive 2x on top and on the bottom minus a quantity positive x plus a negative 2. That's what I see on the bottom, right? Equals, here I have a negative 2 on top. And again, minus the quantity, what do I have on the bottom? I have a positive x and a negative 1. So if I rewrote this equation as is, what I see here, this is what I have. And so we're going to do two things. We're going to simplify from the mats as well as we're going to simplify algebraically. So on this side, if I was going to simplify from the mat, I would look and see I have a positive 1x and a positive 1x, top and bottom. So those can cancel out. And then I would take each of these negative tiles, negative ones tile, and I bring them to the top. And when I do that, they change to be positive ones. So those are gone out of the bottom. Now they're up top as positive ones. So what do I have on top is just this positive x and two positive one. So that gives me an x plus two. So what does that look like algebraically? Here algebraically, I would be distributing that negative, that minus. So it becomes 2x minus x and then minus a negative. So minus a negative, remember, is positive. So adding a positive. So I end up with 2x minus x, which is 2x minus 1x to give me that 1x plus 2. So that's the algebra that simplifies on this side. Uh, if I'm going to simplify any of this, I could see that I have a negative one here and a negative one there. And because I have a, a top and a bottom the same tiles, I can cancel them out. So those are going to go away. And then I can take this positive x tile and bring it to the top and actually make it a negative x tile because when you switch the from the negative to the positive, it flips it over. So what does that look like algebraically? This is negative 2. Remember when we have a minus quantity, we take that minus and we have to distribute it. So it's negative 2 minus x and that being minus a negative makes it a plus, right? Minus a negative makes it a plus. So if I'm going to combine like terms, I have a negative um, 2 and a positive 1 to make it a negative 1. And I have a negative uh, minus x. And that's what I ended up up here was a, a, a negative x and a negative 1 or negative 1 minus x. So now I want to get all my x's on one side. So now I'm going to keep solving because I got to get, I, I, my goal is to figure out what x is and get x alone. So I'm going to add x from this side to get it over here. So a negative x plus an x, that cancels. And so I add x on this side as well. So now I have 2x plus 2 equals negative 1. And then I subtract 2 from both sides because I'm now getting my variable alone my variable expression alone. So that leaves me 2x, those two cancel out, and that gives me 2x is equal to negative 3 when I combine the negative 1, negative 2. And then the last thing is divide both sides by 2. And so here I have x equals, well, negative 3 over 2. That won't divide evenly, so I'm just going to leave it as a fraction, negative 3 over 2. If you wanted to, you can make it in, into a mixed number, negative 1 and 1 half, either way. Oop, there we go. So negative 3 over 2 or negative 1 and 1 half based on the division. All right, there you go.